Hello. In this lecture, we will see the interface of Eagle software and try to understand what is a control panel in Eagle. Now, when we open the Eagle software, very first window which will come up is this window. This is called as a control panel of Eagle software. And using this control panel, we can create libraries. We can also create project. Now let's see how we can create new project in Eagle software using this control panel. So if you see this project tab, if you expand this by clicking on this small arrow, you can see there are two folders inside this. One is called as project and one is the default example pro examples project which comes with Eagle. Now when you create a new project, the Eagle by default saves it in a default folder which is installed uh, where the software gets installed. Now what we'll do, we'll not save our project inside this folder. We'll create one folder on desktop and we'll save all of our project in that folder. So let's create one folder on desktop. And give name as Eagle Projects. Enter. Yes. So here you can see the folder is created. Now we have to tell Eagle to save all of our project into the folder which we just created. So we have to set a path to that folder which is we just created. So to set the path, go to options, directories this window will come up now in this window you can see there is a default path for all of the project we have to erase this and we have to browse the path or folder which we created so we created it on desktop and eagle project select folder okay now if you expand this you can see the folder here and if you try to expand this folder, you'll see now it is empty. So we have to create project inside this folder. So to create a project, right click on folder and click on new project. And give name demo project. And enter. So this will create one project. Now you can see this project is empty. Now let's see how to create a schematic in this project. So we create a project so that we can save a schematic, layout and the different libraries which we create for this project into a single project. Now to create new schematic, just right click, new and click on schematic. So a schematic window will get open. Now let's see different tools which are used to create schematic in Eagle. So let's start with this tool. This at the left hand side you can see this is a toolbar. Okay, so here you can see in this toolbar you can see one tool or one option here called as add part. So if you click on this, Eagle will open the default libraries which get installed when we install the Eagle. Now let's add one component from this library. Let's say we want to add one register. So these are the different registers which are available. Let's select this one. Now if when you select a register, a symbol of register along with it, its footprint, you can see here and this is a 3D model. So you can choose a different footprint for registers. So this is SMD1. Now let's place this register into schematic. So once you are okay with the component, click on OK and zoom in. To zoom in, zoom in and zoom out, you can make use of mouse wheel. Now this is the register. Now if you want to rotate the register, just right click so you can rotate it and place it here. So you'll see there is one more register attached with mouse pointer. So you place number of registers you want and once you are done with your register numbers or registers, just hit escape. So it will again take you to the uh, component panel 
and if you don't want to place any register or any component again escape so this is how you can place register now let's try to understand different options using this register or different tools for example if you want to move this register here is a tool called as a move you just click on this and click exactly at the center of this register and move the mouse so you can move the registers again click exactly at center and move the register and to place it again again click once now you can rotate this also using this option so rotate and you just click at the center you can rotate the register you can also copy and paste to copy and paste here is one option called as copy click on this copy register and place the register you can also delete the register if you don't want just here is option to delete just click on this option and click on the center of this now if you see the delete command is still attached with your mouse pointer or still active to inactive it just press escape now let's see how you can start drawing the wire and to connect components so to draw the wire here is one option called as net you can see it's green line just click on this and just click where you from where you want to draw the connection so i want to draw connection from this point of register to this point of register so just click here click to make turns and click so this is how you can start wiring the components click 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 and once all connections are over press escape to inactivate the command now you can also rotate these names which are attached with register so select move command click on the plus sign with name and rotate them now you can also change this name if you want so to change name or give name to any component here is one option called as name click on this component or click on this option and click on the component and change the name for example r10 click at the center of component r11 you can also uh, give value to this component so to give value here is option called as value click on this click on the register and give value for example 10 -day. move them so this is how you can change the name and assign the value to any component so these are the few options which are there in schematic panel of figure and which we are going to use and we'll explore these options further when we are actually creating a schematic for our project now for this course i have chosen as an example i have chosen the switch mode power supply so this is the switch mode power supply which is using a regulator of lm2576 so re the reason i chose this switch mode power supply because switch mode power supply are everywhere and to explain you how to do schematic and especially the routing of power supply board now here you can see there are different components which which are used in this power supply so this is the regulator capacitor inductor and diode now what we are going to do in this course we will not use the default library which comes with eagle we will create our own library and in that library we will create all of these symbols so we will create regulator capacitor this short key diode inductor and we'll create symbol of each component we'll create a footprint of each component and we'll assign the 3d model to each component which is helpful in uh, 3d rendering of board so that's it for this video and i will see you in the next video thank you